me. Hey guys, it's Casey. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'm gonna do anything. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a single one of my fun videos. So over the two and a half years I've been doing YouTube, I have been asked by various people, mostly guys who are either late teens or early 20s, will you do video games? Will I do mobile games? And I'm like, it's not really in my, I don't really play video games, but I do play mobile games. And guys, a new mobile game just came out less than 48 hours ago and we're going to talk about it. So this new game is called Hashtag Me 3D Avatar Me and Play. Oh my god guys, this game, I have I literally pre-ordered this game. Like I'm waiting for it to come out. I've been watching the trailers and if, if so we're going to talk about that game today. So if you guys want me to do more mobile games like this or more VTube games, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to do them because they're actually a lot of fun. I currently am working on a new channel that's going to be completely animation. It's going to be VTube and I also posted a video on my TikTok that was advertised in this video as my love of VTuber avatar. So if you guys, if you want to see more videos like that, check me out on TikTok. So let's go ahead and get right into this game, guys. So to start off, we're going to start with the first advertisement for this game. Can we talk about how cute and funny this Korean advertisement is for the game? It is so funny and so cute. And the twist at the end, just, just watch it, guys, while I talk about it and what my first thoughts were. So my first thoughts were, this is going to be like a VTube game? Or a, basically, I kind of watched just the pretty boy being so confused. But hey, that's probably all of us who watch this. So in the app, they kind of show two girls being like influencers slash uh, social media. They're talking about dyeing their hair, getting new clothes, and just taking pictures. And they're boys singing, what, 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 me, who, me? And they're not, I think the funniest part was just him being so confused and him getting kind of slapped like across the room, very comedically. It's very, very cute, very, very funny. And my first thoughts were, oh, this app's going to be in Korean, which is very different because a lot of games that I play are in Japanese. So I'm like, okay, Korean game, that'll be so much fun. Then the rest of the advertisement came out. I pre-ordered this game, so it automatically downloaded my phone when it came out. And to my surprise, the rest of the advertisements I saw were in pure English. And there was nowhere else that it had any connection to Korea or this advertisement. And so it left me very confused. And then the day it came out, it all made sense. It made perfect sense. Sort of. Let's talk about that. So, I downloaded, the game came out, um, you couldn't play it for another 12 hours because why not? But when the game finally came out and I noticed that it was in English, I didn't have the sound playing because this was 11 o'clock at night and I was tired. Um, but the uh, subtitles were in English and then when I did put the music on, it was in English. And then the character started talking. It made sense. The animation for the talking was off for like a few seconds. So they would talk, the words would come up, they would stop talking and then their mouth started moving and it looked really off, like not like a bad anime English dub off. And my first thoughts were, oh, this must have been originally done in Korean and then brought over and redubbed because the animation does, the voice acting does sound like how English dubbed games sound but I didn't look it up so guys I, I did look it up and I literally found no other connection like to Korea the, or this uh, advertisement anywhere on the internet the besides this one advertisement commercial so about a month ago this must have been done in the U.S. so I was like what's this Korean advertisement have to do with this game it still befuddles me but anyways, let's talk about the actual game itself. So the actual game is pretty fun. Um, glitches aside, the first here, a lot of this came up a lot, guys. So the first um, 12 hours were maintenance time or glitches or it shutting down. It was very frustrating. So the next morning, July 8th, it, yeah, July 8th was um, officially... We could play the game and not have glitches. Some people were still having glitches. Some people were saying, "My it keeps shutting down on me. Um, it's not working. 
depends on your phone i saw um but for me i was fine i am playing um uh, me walking through and all the pictures that you take in the game are automatically saved to your phone or you can take screenshots like i did to post on social media or to keep for yourself um you can also that's pretty fun so in the game you are a um social network influencer and you can also talk to people a lot which you'll see in the chat some people cuss some people talk about the lagging of the game um yesterday when i was playing today's um about 24 hours after i started playing a lot of people were handing out their social media like the real social medias and some people were talking about joining a Discord server. And my first thought as a 23, almost 23 year old, I'll be 23 next month. It's the age thing is 13 years or older. So more than likely there are 13 year olds or maybe even under who snuck this game and said, yeah, I'm 13. <laughs> I'm going to be so bad and say, I'm 13, but really I'm 12. And um, my first thoughts are, people are giving out their personal information i didn't look at all the chats but i do see cussing and i do see people giving out their social medias and my first thoughts are this isn't the safest thing especially if there are those younger view younger players who think they're so bad because they push that 13 button and they're really like uh, 11 <laughs> um but seriousness and but serious but funniness aside Seriously, people, just be careful when playing these games. I'm serious. Please be careful. Don't give out your personal information unless, you know, you're really okay with it. But let's talk about the animation. This animation is so cute. I love the avatars. The little characters are so cute. I, my avatar has the uh, blue hair, of course. Um, cat ears were not an option yet. Um, you can pretty much design, you only have three outfit choices at the beginning, and then each outfit you can, um, change the colors of the outfit. There were three hairstyles, but then you can change the color, um, which was pretty nice. I kind of wish they had an ombre option, um, but like most apps, they do not, they have one color option. So the full tutorial, um, my coffee maker's going off. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. So if you guys want to watch full uh, tutorials and walkthroughs and everything, you guys can check out other videos. But for me, I'm just picking out, um, talking about things that I noticed. Um, so the animation is very good, but like some people said in the comments, it's lagging a bit and not everything is open yet because the game just came out. But for me, the animation is very cute, very fun, very good. It's very anime. It's very Japanese style anime. I really love it. I love the 3D aspect of it. Um... Again, I'm going to talk about the voice acting really quick just because it's something that bothers me. The voice acting, it could be better, but honestly, it's pretty much the same voice as you hear on most of these uh, mobile or video games. Um, any nitpicks that I have, I don't really have. The game just came out, so... Um, oh, let's talk about the glitch with the phone battery. The phone battery. So I was playing this in the morning while making coffee. Uh, yesterday and I noticed my phone had died and heated up a lot faster than it should have. Why? I don't know. But then when I got out of the game, my phone was very glitchy. Like it took forever for me to get into apps. Um, things would slow down. So it slowed my phone, killed my battery a lot faster than it probably should have. And it was just very lagging and I didn't like it at all. Um, so those are the only things I really noticed and pointed out. Um, other than that, there's not much to it. Um, I do think a lot of the photos that you can do are pretty cool. There's a lot of minor details, like there's animals you can take pictures with. You can go to coffee shops. You can go to a photo wall. There's a fashion show. Um, you can high five people. Um... But the main things they have are the social network in part. Yes, it is fun, but it's also very dangerous. Um, I'm looking forward to keeping up with the game. I will continue to post probably on my second, my new channel. If you guys want to see me playing this game, I will be posting more of it on my uh, new channel that I have. That will be in the link to scroll. It is actually uh, Keshi Katkete. 
which is my Japanese name. Guys, you guys can go check that out. I'll have it um, somewhere. I posted a video on there, so check it out, guys. So if you want to stay updated on this video game, let me know down in the comments below and hit the subscribe button. Guys, I know this is kind of off, but I've got a request to do a mobile app game, so why not? All right, guys, I will see you all next time. Done, eh? Stay connected. Yeah. That was cringe. Done, eh?